Okay, so here I am once again. Here I am once again. Looking at this, I watched the video last night to see, to look at this piece. I looked at pictures. There's a few things that, one thing I want to change for sure is his hair. I just kind of want to make it more flowing up here so it doesn't look so straight up and down. That's, that's what, um, you know, you can see there how if you look at it, it looks straight up and down. I want to cut some more curve, another curve or two in there. But that's what can do for you if you're, uh, you know, you, you think you finished a piece. Before you put the finish on it, give it a couple days, look at it, see if you want to do any changes before uh, you do anything to it. So let me get that done quickly with the chainsaw. So this was a video that I made just about how to uh, use your one quarter inch carving burr. But I just finished this piece off. It's a piece of spruce. So what I'm going to do is not on tape, but I'm going to burn the hell out of this, okay? And then I'm going to clean it up with these bristle brushes you can get on my Amazon store. They're three different grits. Hard, medium, and soft. Whatever the way they go. And you just run them on a power drill. Man, this Dewalt's been like a lifesaver for me. Woo! Just lasts forever. Thanks, Pete. Um, so, anyways, I'll burn this. Because I want to put... I got this sanding sealer here, okay? Because... On some of my other videos where I burn the piece and clean it, some of the pieces went so dark. So one, I did put sanding sealer on it, but it wasn't this stuff. Okay, so this is the Mohawk pre-catalyzed sanding sealer. What this does makes it seem like there's a layer of plastic on the wood. You know what I mean? So what I thought I'll do is I'll burn this, I'll clean it, and then I'll put sanding sealer on of half of it and leave the rest without sanding sealer and then put the wood dye on it i'm just going to do this red and yellow whatever put the wood dye on it then i'll finish it with spar varnish okay so i'm not going to film me doing any of this but i'll get it all done and uh, i'll be back okay so i got his hair uh, fixed up there so it's better put some more cut lines in there no problem okay so i got this stuff mohawk pre-catalyzed sanding sealer I got this piece burnt too. I cleaned it up as best as I could. It didn't go that bright, and I'm just tired of wasting kind of wasting time on it. This is just an old piece of spruce. You can see there was screw holes in it. So whatever, I really don't care. Okay, so this that I put sealer on there, and then no sealer on this part. So right about here has sealer. Okay, so let's spray it on. I've already shaken it well. I know it's I know this one's gonna go dark. I just I, I just know. So I think maybe this sealer might help it with uh maybe not going so dark when I put the other stuff on it. Okay. So there's normal, there's with sanding sealer, so we'll be back. And it says to wait uh, half an hour before you can sand it, but I'm not gonna sand it, I'm just gonna put the sealer on it. And then I'll put the dye on it. Okay, guys. So this is the part with the sanding sealer. This is the part without. So once again, this comes from Canada, a place called Lee Valley. They ship worldwide, and I think shipping's free right now if it's over twenty-five or thirty dollars. This is the wood dye. This color I got today. Well, this is a mahogany color, mahogany red. I got some green, I got some yellow. If you want to take a screenshot of that, three, two, one. It's it's powder based, it's powder, water based wood dye. Yes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with rello, um, rello. I'm gonna start off with red on each corner. So we so there's no you know so you can tell that this will be red here and this will be red here. So let's put the red on now. Okay, so now let's put the red on this side. This is without the sanding sealer. And I did mix the red up pretty dark because, well, I like dark, dark red. My favorite colors are dark red, uh, red and black. So 
So it's hard to do film this um, and hold the phone at the same time. Okay, so there's our red here and our red there. So let's bust it into yellow because that will turn it orange. Um, shit, I need another brush. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, there you guys can see it's on now. It's wet. So I'm going to let it naturally dry. I already put sanding sealer on this. I thought, what the hell, why not? I put sanding sealer on the mushroom cap and sanding sealer on this face. So my, my main idea was to do red mushroom cap, red face, and red door. And everything else uh, on the mushroom yellow. And this is all going to be natural down here. So good call on that, Blen, uh, Glenn, Glenn, one of the subscribers and a friend, now a good friend, um, out there in Montreal said red mushroom, red face, red door. Well, guess what, Glenn? You read my mind. Great minds think alike, right? Because we're both Canadian, eh? Yep. Okay, so I'm ready to uh, dye this mushroom cap. I got the bottom uh, covered up with some garbage bags because I'm such a, a, like a messy guy. So, uh... Yeah, so I, I didn't have any freaking tape here, it pissed me off, so I, I, what's the word, innovated, and I took that red stuff out. Anyways, I, I got it all taped up, so let's, put, let's do this red. Here it is, here it is. I don't know how I'm going to film this. Okay, well, I'll set the phone up on the tripod, tripod I guess. Okay, so here we go, I got the doc, Dr. Johnson love gloves on, and uh, here it is, let's go. Oh, look at that red. Boy, that's nice. It's a different color red than I normally... Jesus, good thing I put that stuff down there. It's, uh... This is kind of, this red kind of has more like an orange tint to it, too. Boy, is that ever nice. So that is with the sanding sealer on top of it. But I believe this went of uh went went as dark as those other ones because it's a different color red. But man, is that ever cool? I gotta see it on camera. Okay. I'll uh, be back. All right. Yeah, this mahogany is like a reddish orange color. Orange color. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. It's weird how the color changes from here to here, eh? See, it's like there's a line there. Super neat. There's a knot. Oh, you can't see too well from the back. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, knot, knot. What I'm going to do now is take all this plastic off and then do the face. And um, stop tripping over shit, okay? So yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm gonna do the door now. But I gotta be careful, I don't wanna let it run onto the, the cement part. But if it does, I can always burn it out. So what I'm gonna do here, well, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rip a little piece of this foam thing off, okay? You guys can see that from this. And it's already spider webs and slowly get this door. Oh, look, it's already running down there. I'll have to re-burn down below. What is that? bottom piece. Where's that foam piece?
Okay, anyways, I'll get this done and I'll be back. I'm just making a freaking mess. Who is that ever bright? So I should have had a small paintbrush, but it would have taken me 10 hours to paint all in here. So the, the foam stuff absorbed the red too much and it just dripped everywhere, but I don't care. It's neat. I think for somebody to buy this, they would uh, have to be like old old hippies or uh, you know, like used to take lots of acid back in their day <laughs> or have grandkids that they want to uh, have it for the grandkids. I know it's hard to see the back because the sun's coming in here. So now it's got to dry off. And it's going to get brighter. Okay, so here you can see it's all, uh, it's, it's basically dry now. So you can see where some of the red dripped off under the rocks. I don't care. I might paint that door a different color just with paints. I did burn a bit high here, a bit too much here on purpose. Again, I'm gonna go around with my sander and kind of see if I can get some high points in here for when I put the finish on. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put a finish on it today, guys, because I want this piece to be 100% dry when I do put the finish on, but we'll see. Let's try and get a back visual here. So there's the yellow. I know it's hard to see because that light. Okay, so uh, I think, oh yeah, okay. So this is pretty well dry now. So this is the part with the sealer. Okay, and this is the part without the sealer. God, light can be real confusing sometimes. Okay, so sealer, non-sealer. Actually, is that right? Yeah, no sealer and sealer. No sealer and to the sealer. I don't know. If you ask me, if you ask my opinion, no sealer, sealer. If you ask my opinion, it's brighter without the sealer, but we still haven't put a finish on it yet. Huh. Okay. Whatever. I don't care. Okay, for all you super smart people out there, if you want to ask me this question, I'll answer the question you're going to ask already. Uh, did I take acid when I was younger? Uh, the answer is yes. Okay, so there you go. So I'll show you something you can do to make this piece a more sellable piece too for some like uh, you know elder couple or some who knows I'll show you. Lie down! Hey! Go lie down! Lie down! Okay guys this is what we got. Pretty well done, I just gotta put the final coat on it. There's the rocks. Here comes the door. Succulent holder, nice green succulents there. It would look wicked. The face, I'm not too too much of a fan about the eyeballs, but I really don't care. Okay. More work doing the dye and the finishing and stuff than friggin' doing the carving. Sure was. Let me spin this thing around back so you can, let me see it so, let me, oh, let me spin it so you can see the back. Okay, so here's the back side. Sign your pieces. So you see it's a lot more yellow and a lot more green. I put some green in the bottom up there, so down there. So I hope everybody's great. And uh, oh yeah, okay, so here's this piece. 
Okay, here's the side no sealer, upside down, yeah I know. Sealer, okay? So sealer. No sealer. Look at that skull face right there in the middle, guys. No sealer. Sealer. Well, for me, this one says uh, no sealer makes it brighter for sure, but who knows, it could be this piece of wood. So really, who gives a shit? Okay. So uh, that's it. Hope everybody's great. And uh, oh yeah, I got this uh, piece of cedar here too. Super wide grain cedar. I hollowed it out to be a succulent holder. See how deep it's hollowed in there. And I hold up here. And I'm gonna carve a wood spirit for the next video. And I'm gonna try it all with this, uh, with my uh, uh, Dewalt cordless die grinder. I got two of these uh, five amp batteries, whatever they're, 520 volt, five, whatever they are. And uh, one of these three, whatever it is. Okay, so we'll see if we can carve the whole wood spirit with this for the next video. Hope everybody's good. Okay, bye.